my company. No, I'm not telling you that. No, no, I'm no, no, no. You, I'm no, telling you that the city, I tell, I'm telling you that Councilman the city Boria. can work with Boria. companies like yours. Councilman you have Boria. a company that has a felon in your payroll. No. Okay. Mr. Mr. Lorenzo, please wrap it up because I, I think the rest of the council would like to speak. Mr. Al Lorenzo, you allow him to speak for 15 minutes. I, you, We've been with you have a right to speak, for seven but years. you don't need to yell. You, well, I'm not you, yelling. I'm you, telling you, you are, 2007, you are, I, we, I understand that a company you don't. That is co you don't. I understand that, but you don't need to yell. Well, you need to show if you want to be a we, leader in this community. We, you need to re re go to ahead and finish. Make your this comments. This is a beautiful company, and we have to understand that this company have a felon in his company that has 141 okay criminal records. Yeah. First of all, I'm not trying to show anything because I haven't spoken yet. But I would ask you, Councilman Boria, in your role as an elected official to make your comments in a proper fashion. Uh, I understand uh, your feelings and I understand your emotions. Mr. Lorenzo has kept his. I would expect you to do the same. Is there anything else you want to add before anybody else on, on council wants to comment? The motion died in any case. Well, I have also a right to respond to that. No? You, you, I, I think you just responded. Because everybody's Would you like to me go ahead in the news, in the Miami Herald, he, he, hypocrite, and, and I have to allow these people to call me. What about the values? What about the integrity? What about the ethical? Where is all this issue that we have to keep as a person in this city? How long have you been in the city, Honorable Ma M Mayor uh, Juan Carlos Bermudez? And you the one who keep those high standards. Why do I have to listen to, to all this uh, uh, in, in front of me for 15 minutes? You allow this. It's a, it's a vendor of the, of the city. We have to keep those standards prior to any uh, friendship, okay? I know you have a fr personal friendship with Al Lorenzo, but doesn't mean that that we have to, you know, uh, be like, like... Well, let me just, let me just say, Mr. Ronzo, could you I, please I, uh, like finish so we can move on? No, no, I think he's got somebody, he's confusing me somebody else. Did I ever, did I ever call you a hypocrite? Well, one of, one of no. your clients called me hypocritical. Are you trying to tell me that any, anybody that says anything in this town, or anybody that does anything wrong in this town, I'm going to be blamed for it? Mr. Did I call you a hypocrite? We're talking about integrity, values, ethical. Those are beautiful words. That's the only three well, words that we, we, we need to move on. This is going to, I don't want this to do, we've, uh, let me first of all, thank you so much, Mr. Lorenzo, for making thank your you. comments. I appreciate it. Mr. Boria, now I will turn around and respond. Let me begin by telling you clearly two things. Number one, the reason why Mr. Lorenzo was permitted to speak is because the accusations that you made from this day is, are serious accusations not only against himself but it's come no it's my turn to speak there's serious accusations when you make statements that make reference to people's integrity character and honesty i believe that person has an opportunity to respond and that is the reason why mr lorenzo was permitted to respond let me just be clear i've been the mayor of this city since the inception for nine and a half years i've got 76 days left and, and, and let me tell you that in the time that i've been mayor uh, i've never had a greater disappointment and i've had some disappointments with fellow council members up here than I had today when I hear the way that you've reacted and the way that you've responded. Uh, wh whether or not Mr. Lorenzo is a person that all of us have known, including former council members that are sitting here in this audience and members on this council is irrelevant. What is relevant is that when you make an accusation against any individual, you need to back it up, number one. And number two, that person has the opportunity at least to respond. I can tell you what my experience has been because I was the one in Tallahassee with Al Lorenzo and one other person taking on 20 county lobbyists to try to get rid of mitigation when you were not even considering running. Uh, I was the one that's been, that was in Tallahassee and when we were fighting trying to get the Secretary of Transportation to try to make sure that she could change and hopefully and unsuccessfully we weren't able to get the rules changed until further down the road to be able to bring the viaduct. I've, in the time I've known Al Lorenzo, he's been a man of honesty and integrity. I haven't agreed with him all the time, and he knows that, in fact, we've been on opposite sides sometimes of people in, in politics, and that's okay because that's a democracy. But the job that he and Ackerman Center Fit have done for Miami-Dade County, uh, for, for Doral, in dealing with Miami-Dade County and the state and the federal government has been a very good job. Uh, I'd be the first to tell you that if Mr. Lorenzo didn't comply with those commitments, I would be the first one up here making the motion to remove them. But that's not the case. I'm certainly not going to make that decision based on innuendo, insinuation, and a Miami Herald article. I will remind you of another thing. If we're going to be talking about campaign managers, then I think that everybody, including the campaign managers for other individuals on this dais who have accepted 
and have prior records should also be taken into consideration. And I'm going to tell you one final thing, which to me is very important. Vice Mayor DePedro suggested in our uh, discussion during the budget meeting that if we're going to sit up here and we're going to say that people shouldn't get a second chance and we're going to say that people have to be perfect, then I think it should start with us. And I think any employee that works for any of us should have a clean record. And I certainly think that each and every single one of us, if we ever committed a crime or have a record, whether expunged or sealed, should reveal it to the general public so the general public can know what your past history is. I just hope that we can move forward in the end. I respect your right to make your point of, uh, to express your point of view. I think you've done it uh, effusively, let's say, for want of a better term. I don't agree with you. I don't concur with you, but you have had an opportunity to express yourself. I just caution you as we move forward, and I don't caution you personally, I caution all of us as we move forward, that leadership is not based on simply making accusations and yelling at the top of our lungs, but in large part is based on being able to use your role as an elected official for the benefit of everyone in this community. And that includes whether you're dealing with Miami-Dade County, the federal government, or the state of Florida. Uh, and I will tell you that uh, I'm glad Mr. Lorenzo's here, and I'm glad his family's here, because, and I'm glad the Miami Herald's here, because when accusations are made that derive directly from articles in the newspaper and someone's there to respond, they have every right to do so. Um, at this point, the motion has died. I respect your point of view. I respect the point of view of everyone on this council. Um, sure. I'm glad we're having this discussion. And now uh, let, let's turn around and let's allow the rest of the council also yes, to make sir. some comments. We'll, we'll go to uh, Anna Maria Rodriguez and we'll go to Councilman Cabrera. 